So, now let me briefly tell you the theoretical strategies that one of the thing fast phenological models Mayer came later, but before Mayer around the same time, but after Hentoff and Ostwald, we started doing a, a we put this solute and solvent molecules on a lattice because that could be solved because I could now give epsilon A A, epsilon B B and epsilon A B just like we did in binary alloy and I can count now how many ways I can put a, a and B. So, putting on a lattice has its advantage and that was done in a in a gateway in polymer by Frode Huggins theory, very famous theory which still plays a very important role in all studies of polymer solution even in ordinary solution. This is very similar to Bragg Williams approximation we did in um, quasi chemical approximation we did in uh, model. Then we have external mechanism then the lattice for the lattice model like which we will discuss briefly after that is model done came from you know model will discuss it then the color description base which will stress theory these are the famous things on Stinzanic equation which we will discuss little bit and then many other things we do not need to know now. But everywhere remember everywhere the main central issue remains the issue of the force fields that is where osmotic pressure plays so important role that gives you it and that is what Flory realized and used it in the polymer and now we go to Flory, Flory Huggins theory ok. So, as I said when you put A and B together in a um, mixture A and B together then uh, first thing I get is an entropy of mixing and that is very well known is entropy of mixing. Entropy of mixing per particle I would rather take it out from here and put it here by N is K B X A L and X A K B is Boltzmann constant. So, more X A is mole fraction of A B is mole fraction of B. So, this is say B and this is this is my A ok. Say so, I have X A L and X A plus X B L and X B these are the things by M A mixture you know from comes from simple combinatorics you calculate the Boltzmann omega number of ways from N factorial by N, N A factorial by N B factorial that is where lattice finds so N number of lattice sides and you are putting A and B together it is very very useful to get that. Now, so this is the entropy of mixing now comes things extremely important which we have been talking but we have not quantified that how do I talk of A B and I need something to say A and B different from each other I need a quantification that is done by this guy is discriminant. So, epsilon delta E I introduce a term delta epsilon A B in terms of now if epsilon A B is epsilon A plus epsilon B by 2 what is this called Subham what is this called this is Barthelot rule there is one more called geometric rule ok. So, if A and B interaction is just sum of the average of the then you get the ideal solution then you get Raoult's law. But that is not like water DMSO you cannot say water DMSO interaction by water water interaction DMSO DMSO interaction at the because then the hydrogen bonding between A and B just disappears ok. So, the interaction between A and B brings a very essential new ingredient and that is captured by this term de, uh, delta epsilon A B. So, we call it discriminant that how different A and B how different A and B are in their properties and in their interactions that what captures by this. This is Flory still we are doing all along Flory. So, Flory then said ok this is something we discussed uh, a little bit. But if Z which is in uh, gamma in my uh, Eisen model uh, things is a number of your coordination number. So, in a lattice side if this is my lattice side then uh, then my coordination number is 4 in 2D simple cubic lattice in 6D would be uh, 6 uh, 3D will be 6. So, Z is so now I want to know that uh, number of contacts between A and B then I can say ok. Uh, I pick up number of A there then I can say ok the coordination number and this is a very mean field means average and the mole fraction. B. So, that gives you 
number of contracts A B. This also gives they, they, they these two are exactly same quantities. Now I have the I have the, the entropy. I am doing all these things in order to do the enthalpy. And sure enough, once I know the contact, then I say okay. I can also write in, in terms of any. It, it, it makes sense to focus on n b little bit more because they are in in in, in our mind they're less in number because b is the solvent, a is the solvent. That's the kind of kind of picture we have. So then n b z x a del b. This will be the enthalpy because these are the these are the contact. This is the number of contacts, and each contact brings a discriminant. So the enthalpy of mixing is the change. Delta H mixing is the change. Like entropy of mixing is the change in entropy. There is a new thing that comes in, okay, which was not there because of mixing, and that is delta H mixing. So now we add the two enthalpy and entropy. I get the free energy. Now define Frode defined the following parameter, which is famous as a uh, Frode parameter, which is this quantity, chi f is number of coordination number delta epsilon a b by dimensionless dimensionless quantity this is no dimension then we get delta h mixing now this term we are going to rewrite in terms of just uh, introduce with z z into delta a b combine that divide and multiply by k b t and then we get this thing the delta h mixture. Remember now we have explicitly the Flory interaction parameter or Flory parameter. Now I get the free energy of mixing, I get the free energy of mixing by doing entropy term and the enthalpy term and lo and behold I have this beautiful thing. Now I have a elementary theory Elementary, I am not yet connected with osmotic pressure, that is my goal, I will do that. But now I can start saying some little bit more, little bit more teeth into my understanding of physical chemistry, the phenomenology that we did in the other graduate. And that you already, I already told that now I want to say if they are structure making or structure breaking. If they are structure making and structure breaking, I will be able to tell them in terms of flow parameter because if flow parameter is there negative then is structure making because they like delta they, they like each other more they are more negative but structure breaking is the flow parameter is positive so suddenly i am beginning to have little bit of sense of structure making and structure breaking and i can now begin to see if i can have some idea of structure making and structure breaking then i can put them into a statistical mechanical theory. Okay, so, from this structure making delta epsilon AB, if I can make an estimate of that, then I can take it over to my Leonard Jones parameter and I can do a statistical mechanical theory. Okay, now, Flory now uh, said that in case of polymer, I am not going to go into details of that. Into polymer, what uh, Flory showed that this number that goes in here, this number and this volume fractions, volume fraction. So, number of contacts that we have done in A and B depends on the volume fraction. If one guy is much bigger than the other, then you have to talk of the volume fraction and that is then goes into this we will do derive these things when we do the polymer uh, theory of polymers. But right now I am just going to quote it that because this is a beautiful work of Flory that the same thing goes over and a much more powerful and direct way where Flory parameter becomes a really powerful parameter to talk of feta solvent and many properties of the many many properties of the polymer solution because solvent is so small and sol polymer is so big it now it will that interaction between solute uh, uh, effective interaction between solute and solvent becomes very important please remember the term effective interaction and we will come to that but what Flory parameter is trying to do is an effective interaction and we will come back to that again okay but before that I want to this beautiful theory uh, 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 this the, the delta in mixing for a polymer is you instead of uh, you have volume fraction but you also you have the mole fraction of solvent but in case of solute the polymer it becomes a volume fraction 
this I can uh, trivial thing, but this is not that trivial. Okay. So, now I want to do before going on I want to connect the that we have done little bit in the Ising model how these two models are the same. So, I now say spin up is equivalent to a particle a spin down is particle b. So, in a lattice site I have a spin up that means I have a particle it spin down I have a b particle. So, when a a interaction is spin, spin interaction that if it is favored ferromagnetic interaction then epsilon a a is more negative epsilon and b b they like each other if they, I can tune these things of course and a and b do not like each other then that is a, a up up and down spin they do not like each other that is again the ferromagnetic interaction. If down spin like each other then that is called anti ferromagnetic interaction that is also very well known thing. But the main idea is that see part of Ising model if you remember doing after making all the approximation after those 5 variables n plus n plus plus and uh, n plus minus n minus minus and n minus eliminating all these things by 3 conditions of the bonds uh, of nearest neighbors we get n plus n plus. Then we did a combinatorics after making a Bragg Williams or uh, quasi chemical or whatever mean field approximation. So, here now I do exactly the same thing I write the binary mixture and energy as just like I do epsilon a n a a these are the n a r contact n b b n a b. So, just like there I have there I have n plus plus this is n minus minus this is n plus minus. So, now we just like in model we have these 3 conditions. So, the same as 5 variables become equal to 3 variables the exactly same thing goes over we will not know as the total energy can be written in the following plan by eliminating all the other variables keeping a a and a this is our n a is n plus plus and n a is n plus. So, same as before we do not have to do an extra work now or everything has been done by Bragg and Williams we just map it into and use the free energy that exactly happens. So, here is the given the uh, a between them connection between them n plus is n a then uh, n plus plus is in a a here and then energy of the Ising model uh, is is this quantity and that we did in the Ising model class remember the factor of 4 the 2 and this quantity except z is gamma in Ising model I am sorry about the change of notation, but z is very common in uh, is very common in polymer literature uh, and while gamma is quite common in Ising model. So, they are the we, we went by the kind of z also used in Ising model and that is coordination number actually chem is like z more and however physics is, is, is kind of gamma is the nearest number interactions uh, partly came probably from Carson Wang on the famous textbook of statistical mechanics. But main thing is that mm, there is a complete isomorphism between them as a result of that we can now write down the free energy. So, write down the free energy in, in the case of uh, Bragg Williams approximation this was the free energy wrote down that free energy in the presence of a magnetic field H is this quantity. Now, here the free magnetic field H of course, we are doing magnetic field H equal to 0. So, uh, this is the for H equal to 0 or our B equal to 0 this goes over and this is the uh, expression the equation that we need to solve and epsilon here is epsilon a b. So, we get the solution of binary mixture by implicit that has the beauty is that now. So, the Ising model uh, uh, Ising model mapping allows us to explain very important this phase separation of binary mixture is so wonderful. That means, we need not do any extra work, but we realize that it is an isomorphic problem. 
this wonderful realization was done by uh, mm, physical review 1952, two wonderful papers where with this date and lattice gas many other people and it was done also by Guggenheim. I should not give only of name other person who do and he has a beautiful book theory of solutions Guggenheim. Uh, beautiful, beautiful. Uh, beautiful, beautiful book and that all the students would really go through. I, I was really in front of it is amazing how these days students uh, do not learn in uh, do, 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 I, I should not really start creeping about it, but I find that there is much less enthusiasm in going and because of the internet probably and because of the um, uh, our uh, everything at your desktop all the world is coming to you at your uh, computer, but in our time we used to go and and advantage was that we used to discover many old books, many classic books like the Guggenheim books. There is one book by Fowler and Guggenheim on statistical mechanics, wonderful book and another is Guggenheim theory of solutions where he does the quasi chemical approximation. Actually quasi chemical approximation was done irrespective of the Isaac model by Guggenheim. I, 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 I think I, I understated and underestimated the contribution of Guggenheim. So theory of solution and then it was found by T. D. Lee and C. N. Young that they are they are they are exactly the same and but Guggenheim did a quite to the force in solving the quasi chemical. The quasi chemical name was given by uh, Guggenheim okay and Bragg Williams was done in Isaac model quasi chemical was done by uh, Guggenheim and these two are the same that was shown later by T. D. Lee and C. N. Young <coughs> okay. I think it is important to know this history okay. Now we will the last bit we will try to connect now the importance of the osmotic pressure. And so, I said that the osmotic pressure is so important, something not realized in the, in the physical chemistry books. Just give the um, uh, applications of osmotic pressure, osmosis, then there are all other biological applications and chemical applications. But for a stat mag guy who is trying to explain binary mixtures and non ideality and phase separation in binary mixture, spinal decomposition, and many other things, we need the force field. And this a measure of the force field comes from the osmotic pressure, that is the absolutely the gold mine. And so, we already did osmotic pressure, now we kind of connect it together to do and so the basic idea now is that I want an effective interaction which is so important polymer in every possible way because we, we is called implicit solvent model that means we remove the solvent we are left with only if A and B and there A is numerous and small B is little larger then I can remove the A and do take only BB. But now the BB interaction is not the pure BB interaction because it is mediated by A and B. It is mediated by A and is actually very different piece. How do we do that then? And how do we get an estimate? This is what was done by this great, great theory of McMillan and Mayer. Really wonderful theory and a very, very sophisticated theory. So, what May Macmillan Mayer did, Macmillan was a student of uh, Joseph Mayer and they mapped this problem in a very beautiful and very formidable theory very difficult theory. In our book, uh, the StatMac book by Bakchi, we have this is what a major thing that was done to really bring home the point. Okay. So, Mayer's theory we did that, that interaction potential as uh, in a binary mixture. If I do a Mayer's theory, then it would be UAR, UBBR and UABR, this would be way may, may be done. Macmillan Mayer now said, okay, I will use Mayer theory, but I will eliminate out A and I want to get that. If I can get that, then I have an effective interaction. Now, if I can have a virial series of osmotic pressure, my second virial coefficient will have the interaction between B and B. I hope, it, but that means I am talking about flow chart and in the flow chart, how to get the um, uh, uh, effective interaction. So, the basic Macmillan theory with osmotic pressure gives me this quantity, which is very important quantity that explain the structure making, structure breaking, all non ideality and these kinds of things. So, this is a flow chart, I hope you can read it that integrate out solvent molecules to obtain solid on the system. Solids interact with an effective potential WR, perform Mayer's cluster expansion, and then once you do 
you get this beautiful C is the concentration now or the mole fraction you get the second virial C. So, the osmotic pressure you have a virial expansion of osmotic pressure. So, what you have is a virial osmotic pressure pi which is a concentration dependence. So, now I can vary the concentration, I can vary of course temperature and I can now get this uh, B to T and then I can measure again with an effective interaction uh, some form I can use and I can that, get that. So, the isomorphism continues, Maclean Mia theory is a very difficult theory, it is again given in my book in quite a detail SM by Bakshi, we will have a quite a bit of that but uh, I, I, I you are welcome and invited to do this is very important. Uh, I write 19 now and then just shows that how, what where I spent much, much of my life in the la, last century. So, this is the Mayer's virial expansion and this is the Macmillan Mayer except these are the virial coefficient we know and this B M M as the Macmillan Mayer virial coefficient. And then <coughs> this was very important. Then what this did, what Macmillan Mayer did, derive an expression for B M M and so that it is exactly same thing. So, it is exactly the, it can be explained, virial coefficient can be expressed in terms of this G B B. So, uh, interaction between, so these quantities are the radial distribution functions, they kind of tell you A and B. how A and B. So, now I want to know if this is my B and this is A then how many how B's and A's are connected with this, these are, con are placed with respect to each other in a random system in a liquid how A and B are arranged with respect to each other this of course fluctuating this continuously changing. So, we will have an average description and that average description is provided by average means is still microscopic time average description and equilibrium structure. So, this G is a very famous thing in the theory of liquids or theory of uh, disordered systems. One of the most important equilibrium properties, these are called the radial distribution functions or the partial radial distribution functions and they form a very important thing of the structure of liquids. So, before you go any further, we will now go into do the structure of liquids little bit and then we will come back. So, now as I said that in a very low temperature A and B phase separate, if A and B do not like each other, how do I know that they are phase separated microscopically? I can say okay, how many A is around B and how many A around A, then I find in a, in a locally phase separated, if A and B do not like each other even at a normal temperature when they appear to be homogeneous, they might be locally micro heterogeneity is there, they will be locally phase separated. How do I know that? I can calculate how many radial distribution function which gives me how many A around B and how many B around A, how many A around A, how many B, these are the radial distribution functions. These are these quantities, how many A is the joint probability distribution, how many A is around A, how many B is around B and how many A is around B. They give the time average structure of the liquid and now if there is then I would know okay A and B will be lowest and that is here A and B this is A and B this is the lowest and A and A is ma maximum number that is A and A next is A and B. So, this is A and A, A is around A then B is around B and A B are depleted. So, this is the way one would try to describe now a uh, phase separation. Uh, structure making liquid or structure making liquid is this the way we will go into it. So, we will uh, it now we will go to the uh, uh, next class and try to construct and describe these radial distribution functions or how this theory of liquids are built to do these things. Mm -hmm.